The first sports drinks in this country, specifically Gatorade, was actually developed by scientists to help rehydrate athletes when they were out there doing their thing on the field. And it worked. It did a phenomenal job of replenishing the body's electrolytes, gave them hydration. And ever since then, which I believe that might've been back in the sixties, energy drinks have become common, not just for athletes, but for everyday people wanting to get that little jolt of electrolytes or stay hydrated in a world of coffee and caffeine. And just as these drinks have expanded into our daily lives, so too have the number of people making these drinks. And of course, they're not quite using the same science that those scientists did back when they developed things like Gatorade. Joining me now to talk about what's actually happening is Scott Hardy with Top Class Actions. And Scott, I don't even think Gatorade today, just for uh, uh, you know clarification, it's not even what it used to be. But we've got a class action lawsuit now about a particular energy drink that the plaintiffs say is essentially a soda because it's nothing but sugar. Tell us about this one. That's right. I mean, Gatorade has tried to stay in front of it. They've rolled out G2, which has a much reduced caloric intake, much reduced sugars. They've got Propel, which also reduces the, the calories. And so then you have Body Armor Super Drink. And the Body Armor drinks have come out really uh, in a grand fashion in the last couple of years, doing a lot of advertising, pushing these things out here, trying to make you think that these are healthy drinks to give kids. They're healthy drinks. They're used an athlete to go out there and, you know, you do your workout, take your body armor super drink. Uh, but unfortunately, it appears that according to this class action, these really should be judged as soft drinks, just like soda, because there is so much sugar in it. It is not a health drink as implied by the products advertising. In fact, you know, the body armor actually says these are more natural, better, more, better, more natural, better, much better, more natural, better, but it's not, it's soft drinks. It's, it's essentially soda and it's not good to have that much sugar in your drink when you're trying to recover, when you're trying to keep your kids healthy. And you know, we, we've seen that many times over. So we'll have to see if body armor actually does change their marketing claims of more natural, better, because it should be more sugar, not better, at least according to this class action. Well, and the problem with these is obviously people think if you're drinking an energy drink, you're getting something that's better for your body. And they do have a tendency to say, well, let me have two or three of these. I just did a big workout or, you know, my, my kids had the, had a cold. They need more hydration. Let me give them a couple of these. That is also very common. And then what you're doing is you're overloading your body or, or their little bodies with sugar. And that can obviously be very dangerous. And that's part of the, uh, one of the claims in this lawsuit is not just, Hey, you're giving us too much sugar. It's that, Hey, you're giving us an amount of sugar that if we have a couple of these per day, this could be very dangerous for us. And you're not letting us know that this is what you're doing. Um, and, and we honestly, we see that with a lot of energy drinks. Now the sugar content in these energy drinks has increased dramatically over the years. And it's part of the claim. Well, it's full of electrolytes. Carbohydrates are an electrolyte and an easy source and cheap source, by the way, of carbohydrates is pure sugar. So, you know, they're, they're sticking true to their claims of electrolytes, but we're getting it from worse sources. And I think that's part of the problem that we're seeing here with this. Exactly. You know, we're, we're trying to keep our kids healthy. We're trying to be healthier overall. And so we don't want to ingest all that sugar, even if they're trying to give it us through cane sugar or other ways. Uh, but we know that the sugar content can be harmful. And, you know, this class action simply states that, uh, you know, the consumers wouldn't have purchased this drink if they knew that it could be harmful, if it actually wasn't so good for their body. And it's trying to make, change those claims around uh, to make body armor pull all of these claims that it's healthy and good for nutrition in order to attract all of those extra buyers. Yeah. They, they took away our, our freedom of choice here. You know, if they had been honest with us and if people wanted, wanted the sugar, they could have said, well, I don't care. I like the flavor. I'm going to keep doing this. But everybody else who said, well, actually I was drinking this for the hydration and the health benefits. So let me make a healthier choice 
when I'm going to pick up one of these drinks. For more information about this issue, follow the link in the description of this video and head on over to Top Class Actions. And if you haven't already done so, I encourage everyone to subscribe to their weekly newsletter. Scott Hardy with Top Class Actions, always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for your time, Farron.